Okay, peeps, here we go. Right, so back to the uh, circuit breaker, which we've uh, we was talking about getting mounted and one thing or another. So as you can see, got it mounted now onto said plastic uh, cover over the top of the battery, and got me screws uh, Gorilla glued onto the clip here, and uh, and then screwed into the wall plugs, which we've sealed into the frame. Okay, now just a quick note, this Gorilla Glue, they say it's really good, but I just think it's pretty naff actually. It's a bit brittle. Um, maybe I'm doing something wrong, um, but uh, there is better stuff out there. Probably some rubber sealant, like uh, you can get coloured rubber sealant, whatever. You know, the stuff you put around your, your bath and all that, once that sticks, that's pretty uh, sticky anyway. Anyway, regardless of that. It's okay for the minute it'll do, but if it if these uh, if these screws pop off and come up, like I'll probably revisit it because what's the point in doing it all if uh, if that's the case? Anyway, so we've got the circuit breaker pop riveted onto it. It's all good. Um, I've already got it wired up. The the short positive wire going to uh, the battery terminal there. Now that's going on. The the main battery positive terminal is always go well always goes on first. So I've been told, so I've been led, led to believe, and then this is going on top. Okay, so currently as it stands, they're the only two wires which I'm going to have going to it. Um, I may have to put the, thinking about it, because I was going to, I've, I've got this USB charger, which I did have wired up to the battery before, but I've been told like, too much stuff going on with the battery, so that is going to go into... Um, positive and negative on here this clip here which is was the uh, positive and negative from the reg rec to the loom okay so that will be wired up to that at some point so we'll do another video on that dropping things now and also I've got my battery charger now I was gonna connect to that I've done the wiring for it already I was gonna connect that as well to there but it's a battery charger, it needs to go direct to the battery, so I wasn't thinking straight on that one. So that is probably the only other wire I shall have connected onto that, because obviously it's an input of uh, energy going straight to the battery. I don't want that going into the loom, going around the loom before it goes to the battery, because, well, to me that just sounds pointless. Anyway, so that's done initially, and I've got the negative, you should be able to just see there as well. I've got that one put in place as well. Okay, so these are the two wires now which are going to go to the reg reg, which I've got to cut and do all my things with. Right? So this is where I start bottling it. But anyway, that's there for the minute. We'll just disregard that. We'll get to that in a minute. So here's the length of wire. I've just uh, cable tied it up in a minute just to keep it all neat and tidy. Uh, and there's the positive as well. So the idea is with these two wires, um, I'm going to try and keep it nice and neat, I don't want loads of wires flapping around everywhere so I'm going to attach them to the framework here so basically I should probably I should probably cut probably about four to six inches in I think just so I've got a bit of wire to play with if I mess it up so these wires you can see they're going to be joining around about here they're going to be uh, heat shrunk in round about there so just want to keep them in place initially um, now I've got some of these clips I bought they're just like cable tidies really that's for a quite a small weight clip like but um, if you jiggery poke it about you can actually make thicker thicker wire fit in it now this is the uh, the release cable that's the cable for the, uh, the rear seat to come off like so which just sits there flapping about, well it doesn't really flap about, but so anyway, using one of these, just to keep it neat, I'll just put one on there, just clips in place, just keeps it nice and neat, me being a bit OCD anyway, now it's got a little sticky pad on the back of it, a little 3M sticky pad, but um, if I just went to stick it straight on there, it wouldn't stick because there's like dirt and grit on there and one thing or another, so just got to give it a bit of a clean and a bit of a heat up, so what I always use, this is a paraffin in here. It's brilliant for degreasing. Like I've used it all over my bike to get all the crap off and everything. And uh, just a bit of tissue, like squirt a bit of paraffin on, just clean up the area, just give it a good old clean. And then after that, best thing to use: old hair dryer. 
and then just uh, heat up the heat at the back of the, the pad and heat up the metal work so it's nice and warm and then obviously that makes the uh, you know makes it nice and adhesive then you know really gets that sticky the back of the pad pop it on hold it in place for a couple of hours, and that's stuck quite nice and solid if it does pop off no dramas really I could probably just put a cable tie got holes here I could probably just put a cable tie there or just leave it you know it's not a problem but I was just I've got these little things flowing about so you know you buy a pack of them you might as well use them so that's the next step so just got to sort how much of this wire actually needs to go you can see the distance isn't a great deal really I'm probably only going to need a few inches round about there then the heat seals this coming in you know I may I don't know it's just a work in progress really so I don't really want too much wire looping around too much energy wasting around so we'll say it goes it might end up down there might keep it nice and close to the frame here all this is going to be covered by the side panel obviously anyway so the idea is try and keep it as clean as possible and you know keep the keep the wet and the damp out like I say I'm not planning on going out in the wet weather in it but you never know you get caught out don't you so uh, enough you know at some point in the future when it's not my bike somebody else might be using it all year round anyway so anyway so yep got that in place that's uh, another job done wired up just this is just dry fitting it as as such in a minute so next video will be I've got it all cut to length and then we'll be going for the cut and go from there job is good okay in for a penny in for a pound so don't know if you can see this here, I'm just going to adjust it a little bit. There we go. Okay, so I've cut was from the red wreck. Took the plunge. In for a penny, in for a pound, as they say. Um, left a couple of inches left there, just in case of, I don't know, totally messed up like, and then I have to go back on myself and re it, so, you know no major drama okay so I'll keep that anyway never chuck these things away because you never know okay plus fact but it actually clips into said piece here and there you go you know that's uh, that's already made up for positive and negatives isn't it for uh, something else heat grips perhaps but we'll see we'll just evolve in as we're going along anyway right so two red wires two black wires got to go into a single wire so as you can see here um, that's what we've done there we'll splice them together I'm just at a stage I've just crimped this side and now I've just placed those in I didn't want to get ahead of myself I just wanted to make a quick video of this because I've already done the negative wire now you can see there um, it's, it's all been crimped up and uh, heat shrunk with the heat gun okay so that's the next step on this particular one there and then I put a sleeve on okay so just figured that out bit of plastic sleeve in here got a small bit so that's kind of what that looks like got that off uh, I don't know where I got it from probably Amazon or something like that Amazon or eBay one or two anyway so you can see obviously it just comes flat on a roll and you just open it pop your wires through now you can see here what I've done is I've just uh, obviously don't forget to put it on before you make your connections I've just ruched it all up at the back there okay so when it's uh, when I've sorted this out I shall ruch it down and it'll probably cover about that much there which is all I want it to do because you can see like it's heat shrunk really well nice and tight on the wire there nice and tight over the connection and nice and tight here as well so as far as I'm concerned I made it nice and waterproof okay so the next step is now is just going to crimp those two wires in there give it a bit of a squeeze get the heat gun on shrink that up and then bring the sleeve down and then shrink that over as well like I said ruch that as far back as you can out of the way because obviously the heat <coughs> excuse me the heat will generate through the wires and then it will start shrinking that I've seen that done before in other people's videos, so that's it's it's good for people doing that because obviously you can see it and think right, okay, that's what I need to be careful of. Right, so that's the next thing. We'll catch you in a minute.
Now they might not pick it up on the camera so good, but obviously that connector there is quite a thick plastic, but obviously it is shrinking. This takes a, a little bit of heat and you just got to be careful you don't focus too much on it because you'll probably melt it. But it is shrinking. That is getting the desired effect anyway. Got to turn it around and make sure you do the bottom of it as well. There are other methods as well. You can use a, you know, like a one of those powerful lighter sort of things on it as well. But I've got a paint stripping gun, so I'll we we'll use it. Not too sure that the hair dryer will get it hot enough. I mean, my little dog barking inside. Okay, I think that'll do for the minute.
listen to the top doctor on COVID. Yeah. But tonight, he's on for an hour, you know, he's, he's one of our famous doctors. What's the... Uh... Like Dr Moore, his yeah, name yeah. is Michael Moore, he's a top COVID man. Yeah. You know, he's all about... Um, in lockdown, he's bought a tractor. <laughs> he said, it's, it's all in bits, I've had it delivered to the house, and I'm, I'm redoing it. Blimey. <laughs> oh, so you thought... met her, I, I'm just realising yeah, you're all crazy. Yeah, but I would have thought he'd be busy with other things. <laughs> no, well, you've got to relax, Andy. <laughs> Even he has to. So he says he loves it. It's a 1971. It's come from one of them places where they used to use them all the time. I don't know where that would be. And he's rebuilding it. Fair play to him. See, that, that's what blokes want to do. There you go. <laughs> Look, does she know? She's on the video. Good old Ange, another cup of coffee. Okay, just realised I haven't cut the little things off inside there to make it fit better. There you go, let's have a look. Dooski. Ah, oh, bugger. Should have moved that one along a bit. Let's see if it works. So just heat it up, heat the stickers up, popped it all in, looks nice and neat. I think you'll agree, these wires hopefully, they'll be okay there. I don't think there's going to be any issue with them touching silicon wire. You know, there's going to obviously be a heat through there, but because it's quite thick cable in this side, 12 gauge that is, um, Hopefully it disperses the heat a little bit. And if it does get hot as well, I'm hoping that like, you know, some of the heat will transfer into the frame and just disperse that way as well. So yes. Okay, moving on. Um, next job. The actual uh, the wire from the stator motor to the reg rectifier. That's the, uh, the sleeve which I've uh, taken off of this here off of these three wires here. Now the reason why I've taken it off is because I'm not too sure if, um, well basically I want to make sure that each of these wires is the right one connecting to the, uh, after the the plug there, like where it obviously goes in. I want to make sure that the same wires connect to each other. I don't know if it's uh, actually a major problem or not. Um, I think I have heard somewhere before, may have uh, in a video, it doesn't really matter which way it goes wired in. Maybe that's the case, I don't know. But um, I just want to do it as it is, hardwire it. Obviously this wire here goes to that one there, vice versa. Now I've cut the sleeve off. I didn't really want to cut the sleeve off actually because uh, I think this is like a heat, heat shrink tubing as well. However. I needed uh, to do that, obviously to expose these wires to get it right anyway, so um, cut it off, that's now redundant, that's no good for anybody, so let's throw that away. Ideally, looks nice and neat like that, but this is this is kind of where I figure the joint's going to be anyway, like so leaving a good few inches there just in case I've got a bit of a, I mess up with the, um, the electrics and I have to go back a little bit further, so perhaps one join there next one just after it and then the other one just after that like so just staggering a bit because I might have to put them in their own individual uh, heat shrunk tubes like this ideally I would like them all in one but I would have had to get a bit of a thicker tube I mean this is this is the stuff which initially would go on there 
as it is and then just shrink shrink it with a heat gun fine but when you've got the connectors in which we've uh, see before it's gonna it's gonna beef it up so it's gonna be too I won't be able to get that on so I may have to just do them individually just shrink them and stagger them so one connector there next one there next one there that's the plan okay so that's what I want to do so this is the next stage okay so initially just gonna start with this side go from there okay right let's crack on Okay, like I said before, doing this one wire at a time, so we uh, try and keep everything uniformed as it was before. Okay, so just tucking these out of the way for the minute. This one into here. Get the crimpers. the heat on it
Okay, so that's all the wiring done. This is the first time the bike's been started up for all. Can't remember actually, about three to five days, I should think. Um, like I say, got all the wiring done now. Everything's in place, ready for the side panels to go back on. Um, now, I did a video, obviously the video before I put this one out will show um, show it running on the old system with the old wiring, without the uh, the new direct to the battery and the circuit breaker, um, as it is standard. Okay, and on that video you'll see that it was spiking around about 13.3, something like that. And on this video it was just over 14, 14.1 I believe, uh, fluctuating between that. So, for me, that's a win-win situation. All the, all the hard work what I put into it, and uh, just doing the hard wiring, trying to rectify the uh, reg rec, pardon the pun, uh, problems and status problems. Fingers crossed, that's actually done the trick. That seems to be putting more power into the battery. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it, it cranked up okay. Considering it has been started for uh, three to five days, um, got it started the battery was a little low then um, but it started pretty much first time log and it's been a bit cold and you might be able to hear in the background but there's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, wind and rain going on at the minute um, British summertime great stuff but yes so getting back to it yeah I'm happy with that it's it's an improvement so for me uh, yeah it's a win-win situation I've just uh, I felt the wires as well like I mean yeah um, because obviously where where the uh, cable connection was before uh, down here you can't really I'll just alter the camera a little bit so obviously this is where the main jo well round here this is where the main join is um, but the uh, the old plastic connector they used to get really hot um, obviously building up a bit of resistance in there as well like, because it was you know a little bit loose and it's crap really, bad design really isn't it, but there you go, it's done for a reason, whatever it is, cost cutting or whatever, so yeah, fantastic, I'm happy with it, so these, like I say, the, the, the wires coming from the Reg Rec to the Stata, uh, they all used to get warm, and the three or four inches of the cable actually from the, the new cabling to the Reg Rec, that does get a little warm still, but obviously the thicker cable is taking the brunt of that, and uh, hopefully that's, that's sort of cured that problem, but time will tell really. I mean, this I could be getting ahead of myself on this one, but you know, proof's in the pudding, taking it out for a good run, checking it all and one thing or another. But at the minute, it's all nice and tidy. Uh, if there is a bit of heat building up, it's going to get displaced in the frame. That's my kind of hoping, like, you know, obviously the heat will go into the frame, just get uh, the energy, will just get absorbed elsewhere, so to speak, so it doesn't overheat. So, yeah, brilliant. Happy as Larry. <laughs>